The most important part of dance is music. So now let us listen to the music and identify the beats. One, two, three. But that was too soft. Jet Set Radio, or even Jet Grind Radio, exploded onto the gaming scene in 2000, bursting with energy, personality, but most importantly, absolute fucking bangers. Rushing through the streets of Tokyo Toe were the GGs. Yeah, they're actually called that. A gang of youth who graffiti tagged the ever-loving hell out of the city while riding around on roller skates and dodging the police. One of the first games to ever rock a cel-shaded art style, Jet Set Radio to this day is a massive source of influence, but also a launching point for the absolute unit that is Hideki Naganuma. As shared in an interview from the early 2000s, Hideki took inspiration from the game's aesthetics and characters to shape the tracks that he produced, which just they're so good first time i was ever given a crumb of jet set radio's music or at least conscious of the fact that i was listening to a track from the series was from playing sonic sega all-stars racing on the wii shout out my boy opa opa in all-stars favorite race course wasn't even a question if we're racing we're racing on shibuya downtown now shibuya downtown was a jet set radio course meaning you had tracks like let mom sleep sneak man funky dealer fly like a butterfly but most importantly and also the one that mo and i always looked out for was the concept of love This day, I still let out the honest day leading up to shouting Concept of Love because that track is ingrained in my brain. It's like Hideki took a chisel and carved the spot for it there himself. But that's the thing about Jet Set Radio's tracks. They're addicting and they carry the full energy of the original game perfectly. I'd never even played the game back then and even when I first began listening to the soundtrack and had absolutely no context of the series, I could still feel the funk. The next time in my life that I'd bump into a track by Hideki wasn't until Lethal League and the song Nothing Like a Funky Beat. And a few months later, I'm churning through Jet Set Radio, Jet Set Radio Future, and Ollie King's soundtracks, just binging them. Hell, in working on this video, I went through a minimum of 110 tracks and soundbites produced by Hideki. Not that I needed to, but I wanted to. Which reminds me, sorry for the tangent, is how I discovered that this man worked on Sonic Rush. Sonic Rush's soundtrack slaps, if you didn't know that, with tracks like Wrapped in Black, sampling a fucking Malcolm X speech in a mainline Sega game, and the absolute heat that is a new day. guy's great. But back to Jet Set Radio. I'll admit it, I still haven't played it. Feel free to roast me over it in the comments. But the fact that I'm so drawn into the game and its history just by the music alone? That's some good ass music. The gritty blend of electronic with flavorful samples across hip hop, jazz, and funk, the breakbeat and the EDM seasoning on top, and the variety? Man. It's the sort of thing that's almost difficult to express and describe, but when you listen to it, you're like, yeah, it slaps. I know it's not for everyone, but these are still some fantastic mixes. But yeah, I've been, I've just, I've just been blasting Jet Said Radio's soundtracks for a week now. And that's not even counting the months that I've been sporadically tossing into the streams of music I've been pouring out. TLDR, Jet Set Radio's music is amazing. Hideki Naganuma is a blessing to humanity, including his Twitter. And music? Music is good. Like this, like that, like this, this, like that, like this, like that, like this, this, like that. 